Bro, I haven't heard from Hobson in a long time. I thought he was going to drop another ill mind the next time he came back and showed his face, but he dropped something called Origin Story, featuring people I've never heard of called the Future Kings. Um, it's starting out in the barren desert, so I'm going to check this out and I'm going to let y'all know how I feel about it. Hi, hope you're having a good day. Let's get it. Manifested this in my mama's basement. I was complacent till I seen the light and I thought I gotta taste it. That's one thing I love about Hobson is that as soon as he starts rapping, I'm already playing the movie. I can already I can see his words. I don't just feel and hear them, I can see them as well. See they did. I can relate to that. A dream that started out in your mama's basement or a dream that started out of my mama's house. You know me as the man you know now. I was hot with the braces. Now I'm the real deal with the ill will. I'm not with the game, bitch. Little did you know, way before a nigga was popping all the knockers. Oh, we already at a seven so far. This is good. I like this. I knew I heard those names before. Those are them. That's that dancing group, Future Kings. I thought it was like some. I'm not gonna lie. At first, when I saw the title, I thought. I thought it was Future. That must be one of the dogs walking by my door. I already got the door locked, so you know. Lord, ignore me, Lord, I was horribly damaged, and I would became my fucking origin story. Yeah, nigga, I'm Heath Ledger, the Joker. That boy hoppers the beast, never approach him. I'll leave any of them left for the poachers. Act up, nigga, the beef, and it'll be over. Word is bomb, my first is bomb. For rainy days, the penny pad is my first response. I then become a beacon in which the earth revolves. It's meditated before you know it, the bird is gone. I'm it's pretty fun seeing Hobson enjoy the fruits of his labor, though. He deserves it. He used to grind on a consistent basis, but now, like, I mean, he is somewhat consistent, but, like, he don't really put out like that anymore. I guess he's more busy trying to, like, he's doing what he loves, but he's more focused on figuring out, like, what what's next, you know? And I've been hearing that in some of the videos he puts out, like, what's my purpose? This is what I'm dealing with. What now? Um, I'll always love music. I'll always do music. I'll always put out music. But like, you know, I'm figuring out things with my son that I don't really see like that. Um, you know, all, all types of stuff. When you have everything and you can do whatever you want. When you're so used to buying what you want and doing what you want. When you want to do it. At the time and place you feel like doing it. And you get used to doing that for so many years, it's like, you know, what what now? Because I'm not going to lie, there's been some day, I mean, I haven't gotten to that point yet. I'm going to, but like, there are some days where I'm like, you know, where you might get bored. Um, and you're just like, huh. You know, if um something happened to me, would I be upset? I don't know. Some days you can just be like so in your own head that like you say things to yourself that don't that don't really make sense. Yet it does. I don't know. I'm I'm rambling. That's like when I when I had COVID. Sorry, I'll, I'll let the I'll let the song play all the way through. I'm just adding this in between. I had COVID one time when I was in the hospital. I was having some heart stuff going on, long story short, and I was laying there, and I was like, well, if I wake up tomorrow, I know everything's going to be all right, but I was like, I was laying there talking to God, and I was like, you know, I'm not ready to go yet, and there's still a lot of things that I want to do, but if it's your will for me to like, 
you know, for this to be like my last day, I was like, I respect it. I'm at peace with it. But besides that, I'm not ready yet. I got stuff. I, there, there are still things that I want to do, not just for me, but for my family. And I woke up and I was okay. And I'm still okay. I feel lost getting my whole self for fame was the real cause. It's like I thought getting my hands on a land, but when I crazy the fans go with hill scars. But I'm still the same old me, same old insecurities, and they won't leave. Yep. I hear a voice saying, Marcus, to make your peace, you gotta surrender your ego and pay your fees. Facts. The money don't solve everything. The only, the only thing that money does for people is give you options. And it's a personal decision on whether or not those options make you happy or not and in most cases they don't especially when you still have unresolved insecurities within yourself Oh shoot, he got them rapping too. Just a pen and a pad with my ideas racing. I remember them days when I thought negative friends were my permanent placement. But they didn't embrace me. So I severed the ties and got back to the basics. Well, way to be optimistic. That's fire. He got his whole dance group rapping. All that bullshit for the birds, you only as good as your word. That's why I own all of my masters, it's motion on all of my verb. All my opponents discouraged. Catch my on fire, the work is for hire, the world is inspired. My OG retired. Friends all go slide every time like it's down to the wire. You know, one thing I haven't really ever seen is a half Hispanic, half Asian. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That I know he's in the sun and he's probably like a little darker colored due to the heat. But like that, just seeing seeing that guy made me think, have I ever seen a half Asian, half Hispanic? Let you drown with only ones left. Look, all the cries when I begged and I pleaded, fell on deaf ears when my wounds started bleeding. Ran out of reasons to live. I realized in the end that our friendship was all that I needed. Our worst hours, birth powers, cold showers, couldn't throw in a towel. I'm no coward, slow prowlers. All the blush with the tears, and as I stand with my peers, the globe's ours. I like that. I like that. Let me run that back. That dude was flowing. I like that. Pleaded, fell on deaf ears when my wounds started bleeding. Ran out of reasons to live. I realized in the end that our friendship was all that I needed. Our worst hours, birth powers, cold showers. Couldn't throw in a towel. I'm no coward. Slow powers. All the blush with the tears. And as I stand with my peers, the globe's ours. What kind of fruit is that? That's one thing I learned one day is that there's hundreds of fruits out here that we don't even know about. We just know about the mainstream fruits. Pineapples, but we ain't heard nothing like dragon fruit. Um, there's this one fruit that looks like a sea urchin. And then there's this one fruit to where if you eat it, it feels like needles going down your throat. But if it's ripe, then it's the best thing you've ever, you've ever put in your mouth. I, I, I think it was called the meat something. The meat melon? I can't I can't remember what that was called. See there, I told y'all. Find himself again. Lost, but he had to find himself again. To win. 
I was right on the money with the subject. I have to. I See, I understand. I listen. In the eyes of God, in his face I held my sins. Oh, no. Told him, don't mind the blood on my hands. I swear it's self-defense. He left. But he knew I was lying. Deep in my heart, I felt revenge. <laughs> Fire. He's a Marvel fan. That was absolutely fire. That was an easy eight point nine. Easy 8.9. I like that a lot. Let me know what y'all thought down in the comment section below. Give me some recommendations like I always say. Like the video and hit subscribe if you're vibing with me and you like what we do here. Let's see what people are saying in the comments. The whole This whole creative experience was an honor, brother. The few, That was the Future Kings commenting on the... How many subs subscribers do the Future Kings have? 1.5 million. That's what's up. Fire incoming. 10 years later and Hobson still in the desert spitting straight heat. He does love it. He loves himself a good desert. I know that from watching most of his videos. He loves the desert. Let's see. Who is that? DMT Boak. Oh, some guy with 2.5 million, two, not, well, 2.5 thousand subs. Coming from a 56-year-old man that was there for the birth of hip-hop, you're doing it right, keeping true to the spirit of rap. Your music videos are done so well, it's like watching a movie meant to be in theaters. That's true. One more. This was a much-needed hop drop. Killer video, as always. And everybody on here that's showing all this love to this song is absolutely right. Hopefully by the end of the month, this music video will be at 1 million views because it deserves it. Hobson deserves it. I've kept up with Hobson since um, he dropped that Night Owl song. Was it called Night Owl? Hold on, let me see. Hobson Owl. It was called Night Something. What was it called? Turn it, man. I can't remember, but like uh, it was like a, it was one of his early albums that had "Sag My Pants" on it. But I didn't really dive deep into um, Hobson until he dropped like "Sag My Pants." I'm pretty sure it was called Sag My Pants. I don't remember none of the titles, man. Sag My Pants by Hobson. I'm pretty sure that's his biggest video, too. Yeah. Yep, it was. It was on um it was on the same album as Sag My Pants. He dropped that video 12 years ago. Whew. Good lord, time really flies, folks. I remember I was sitting in my mama's house in my room on YouTube when that video first dropped all those years ago. It's amazing how fast a decade can go by. But yeah, um, like I said before, like, sub, um, say whatever you want to say in the comment section if you have anything to say, but I hope y'all have a good day and I hope you, um, you resonated with some of the things that resonated with me. See ya.